Hawaii surgeon and a Hawaii girl, and I absolutely love lashes, but I have a problem with them. I cannot apply false lashes. I actually have to go to the Mac store every single time to put them on. So when I saw the ads for the magnetic liner and lashes, I was completely interested and I had to purchase them right away. So if you wanna find out if they are safe for your eyes and if they stand up to a Hawaii girl's lifestyle, keep watching. So I'm super excited because I just got it. So it comes with the lash line, cute little glitter box, and the magnetic liner. So first thing, as an eye surgeon, I always check the ingredients. And basically the main ingredient in this, which is what makes it magnetic, is iron oxide. Now for my training, I know you certainly don't want a piece of iron inside your eye. It can cause a rust ring if it's on the front surface of the eye, like a foreign body on your cornea. I've actually even seen it penetrate inside the eye. That's really bad and we wanna always remove that surgically. So I was a bit hesitant to try something with iron oxide without doing some research first. Iron oxide is a color additive which is actually regulated by the FDA. I checked the FDA website and it is approved for the use of skincare products and cosmetic products even around the eye. It had a big check mark next to that. So that made me feel better that it's a known additive and it is regulated. So anything that's being sold in America has to go through that regulation process. So that made me feel a little bit better about using it for sure. But then the second part of this is I live in Hawaii and in Hawaii people don't wear a ton of makeup and I have a very active lifestyle. I'm wearing my workout clothes because I'm about to go hit my Peloton, go for a ride. The kids have the day off from school today. I'll probably go to the beach or the pool. I, however, am allergic to the glue for the lash extensions and I do feel that it causes lash loss or matterosis because of the traction and the weight that's put on the lashes. So I wanted to try this as an option, basically as an alternative to it. And let's see how easy it is. I've not used this. It's all in the package and I'm notoriously horrible, like absolutely horrible at being able to put on this stuff myself, even though I'm, I'm an eye surgeon, which sounds really crazy, but it's the truth. So let's see. I don't know. That's not super thin, <laughs> but it's not terrible. It does glide on like regular eyeliner. I'm just not as used to using a brush. Just give me a scalpel instead of an eyeliner brush. And we'll see how it goes. Oh, it is magnetic. Okay. Uh-huh. That doesn't look so good. Hmm, it's that inner corner. Okay, let's try it again. That's better. Better, I think that's better. But oops, nope, the inner corner popped up again. <laughs> oh man. I can't get this inner corner. Oh, oh, no. It looks good except for that inner corner again. Oh, maybe I don't have an eyeliner there. Okay. So I was putting it where I did not have liner, which is very silly, but um, yeah, that's kind of what I was doing. See, I'm a real person doing this as opposed to a makeup artist. And I'm actually an eye surgeon, so it really should be easier for me, but I I'm learning. Just waiting. The other thing is we will see if I'm allergic because I have extremely sensitive skin. And the area of the skin around the eye is extremely thin as well. So I don't like having to use a lot of forced to remove this makeup. And you're supposed to buy their double eraser makeup remover, which I did not do just because 
I didn't scroll that far down because I was doing it, it was ordering it between patients. <laughs> so we'll see if my regular eye makeup remover for sensitive skin is able to remove this at the end of the day. And uh, we'll see, okay. I think that's been a minute. Let's try again. That's probably, oh! I like that. I like that. That looks pretty good, don't you think? Hi, my name is Maria, and I'm five and a half years old, and I'm mommy's daughter, and I look like her. Quick cameo. Okay, we need to wait. Count to 60. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine. Sixty! <laughs> It is sticking, kind of. It's better on the outside. I just gotta get it on the inside. Mine always has trouble. I'm a very good makeup artist. Watch. Not the bones. Okay, that's Watch. better. See, I'm very good at blush. Hey, this is not your channel. What do you think? That's not bad. For first time, that took me, mm, I don't know, 15 minutes. <laughs> that took me 15 minutes to put on, which uh, is not unusual for me. Usually, like I said, the falsies take about 20 to 30, and then I give up, and I'm, I have no success anyway. So this is not bad. Oh, see, but it... Oh my gosh. Okay, this is driving me a little crazy, but I'm really gonna get this. I'm gonna go work out now on the Peloton and we'll see if they're flopping in the wind. Well, there's no breeze in my kid's playroom, but you know what I mean. If they're starting to sweat, if anything gets in my eyes or if I feel irritated. Feels okay. Now let's check out the Peloton and see if they Hold steady with my grueling workout. So I was doing my Peloton and right before I went down, my left one was, I knew that it wasn't secure and it totally did fall off. But the right one stayed very secure. So I think it was really just, I didn't apply this outer corner correctly. It's, it's still on in the inner corner, but I could feel that it was, not well secured uh, right before I started even. So the workout just made that a little bit worse. So I reapplied the left one, which feels much better now. And then I realized I need to take a shower. So that was not the smartest thing, but I don't want to take them off. So we'll see if it actually is good in the shower, or if the humidity is going to make it all fall down. So I've had the lashes on for about 24 hours now and I'm really loving the look of them and safety wise, I really like them as well. The magnets actually attach to the eyelid skin and not to the lashes. So they're different than the other kinds of magnetic lashes where your eye natural lash is sandwiched in between two magnets. This doesn't have any weight on the actual lashes themselves. And it's also different from lash extensions where you've got the glue to your individual lashes. I like that because anytime you've got weight on your lashes, that is going to cause them to fall out faster and cause lash loss, which I never want with my lashes and I'm sure you don't want either. So I really like this because it's attached to your eyelid skin. I got no skin irritation. I didn't get any kind of dripping of the eyeliner through sweating, humidity. I took a shower with them on. So they really stayed in place, the eyeliner, and I didn't get any skin darkening from it either. That's really important to me. Sometimes when I do the lash glue for falsies, I get a lot of tearing in the outer corner because I'm really trying to jam it down there on the side and I didn't have any of that with the magnetic lashes. So very safe from that standpoint as well. You do need to be careful 
You cannot wear these in an MRI machine. An MRI machine is a big magnet. So if you were to wear these, that would be really, really bad. And I would not use the magnetic liner. So just remember to put that away in case you're ever getting an MRI done. Don't use the magnetic eyeliner. Again, all of these things are just my opinion as an eye surgeon and what I like as a beauty lover uh, in terms of makeup and everything. It is not medical opinion. But if you have any questions and you would like to know more, let me know. I'm gonna try to wash everything off now and make sure I can get rid of all of the magnetic eyeliner because again, there have been some cases, not with this particular magnetic eyeliner, but in general with iron oxide can cause staining. It's like one of the known reported side effects from it. We can see it stain the inside of the eye when it gets trapped inside, not from liner or external use, but when it penetrates inside the eye. So I always just wanna be super careful about removing it, making sure there's no staining. I've used it for 24 hours. I took it off last night and it was very easy to remove. So I'll show you how I did it. So there is a little bit still left on. I just used my regular cleansing oil that you put on your dry face and then use water to clean off and then massage it into my eyelids. So a little bit left um, and I'm gonna use just the Sephora waterproof makeup remover. That's super easy and I think I should be able to get it. And you get a lot off with this. And I guess it's kind of rusty brown because that's iron oxide and it's got water and oil in it, but pretty much able to get everything off. And I don't see any pigmentation. You know, iron can stain. You want to make sure that you're not getting any pigmentation, especially for me, underneath the eyes is where I notoriously get pigmentation. I've gotten that from lash serums in the past, so I've always careful about that you want to make sure you want to you remove everything just in case and so very clean eyelids just using a double cleanse system there so that's it I've had a full day with the lashes I like them I think that you do need to be careful as with anything I think that the magnets are safe to use near the eye that's always a concern and uh, if you have any questions about this or you want more content like this, kind of eye surgeon perspective on eye makeup, lashes, lash perming, tinting, whatever, please let me know. Subscribe to my channel and mahalo for watching. Thanks so much.